Hey there YouTube, Merrick Pie here. I'm going to try to be speaking a lot quicker because my videos are getting a little long and drawn out. So, down to the point. What I'm trying to show you today is my pixel length detector. Not my pixel length, my snake length detector. Um, I tried figuring out all sorts of different ways, but the breakthrough came when I realized that I don't need to try to worry about the length of a snake. I need to worry about how long a pixel stays lit. So, for example, if I have a one pixel long snake, represented by this torch right here, and I move to the left, what needs to happen is this torch needs to turn off immediately. Now say I ate a pixel and I need to go, I now have a two pixel long snake. So, start right here, I go to the left, this pixel needs to still stay on because I'm representing a two pixel long snake. I press left again, now this pixel turns off and it's the same idea for any size any size snake. I got three. These three need to stay on until I go left again and then the last one needs to turn off. So I realized I'm gonna have to be using counters and so I just modified my uh, one my two-way controller to be a one-way controller that counts up and resets itself um, based upon a number of pixels that have been eaten. So what happens just as usual with my controllers, or snore latch, and gate. This is on, power goes through, turns that one off. The new thing to happen is I have right here what is called an implies gate. Power comes into here and will go through if and only if this torch is off. So no matter what else happens, power will only go through if this torch is off. So if I only wanted my snake to be one pixel long, I just turn this torch on. That ref that causes this to stop power from going through, which will not activate this RS nor latch. Okay. So how that works to sh to make the snake or the pixel stop after only one press, I have another implies gate right here. Since power did not go through here and not trigger this RS nor latch there is no power coming in through here. So this is like the B being off on uh, implies gate. So since no power is coming through here, the information that was pulsed from this AND gate will travel down here, hit this, and send through. Since this sends through, it goes back to this R snore latch, which represents my displayed pixel. I guess it should be on right now. This R snore latch, which represents my displayed pixel, and it turns it off. So, quick example for just a one pixel long snake. So, this right here is just representing the directions that I pressed. It really doesn't matter which direction I press, all four of them need to send a piece of information into here, a pulse into here. So, one pulse. After one pulse, this pixel should turn off exactly right. So let me reset it. I don't have a reset built in here yet because inside the actual snake game, and there's a sneak peek at it being uh, combined and put together. Um, inside the actual snake game, it's not going to need to have a reset like this because the directional uh, AND gates will cause it to reset. Let me turn the lights back on. So now, let's say I just ate two pixels. I'm just going to skip this one just so I can show it a little bit better. So it just ate two pixels now. So that was zero pixels eight, one pixel eight, two pixels eight. Excuse me. So that means after two button presses this will turn off now. So one it did not turn off. Two. I'm sorry, after three button presses. Three. There, turned off. And it reset my counter. So, I was pretty darn proud of this. Um, it will make your snake be equal to the length of its head plus the number of pixels that it's eight. Um, that's about it. Sorry, one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, 
right now I have this only to give the snake a maximum length of let's see one two I'm oh, sorry one two three four um, you can easily increase this to more than four you just have to add another unit from I guess here to here you just have to add this onto the end that's probably the only reason why I could it might be possibly better to use a binary counter as opposed to this because once you start getting really 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 large snakes the binary counter actually becomes more compact even with even if you have to worry about building in a decoder um, but since for my prototype snake game I'm just going to make the snake have be a maximum five uh, pixels long so its head plus four pixels uh, coming from things like this I just decided to use my one-way controller okay that's the addendum thanks for subscribing uh, keep liking keep viewing and keep telling your friends